Hi, uh, my name is Nisa. I'm going to be reading The Plant Whisperer by Samtan Tata. Jashi, a young engineering student, looked at her noisy machines. Hey, you, so frustrating, she thought. She missed Pati's garden. The garden had birds, trees, plants, grass. But best of all, the garden had Chini, her best friend. Chini's branches were like arms on which she climbed and played and slept. Just she called her father. Daddy, I'm gonna go study plants. Hmm. Daddy was an engineer and he didn't like it. I can convince him later, Just she thought. So she moved to a college to study plants. And study she did. She finished two degrees in five years. But there are so many questions that I don't have answers to. Do plants listen to each other? Do they talk to each other? Do they fight? Can they be friends with each other like Chini was mine? Jashree went many places in search of these answers, from New Delhi to New York and back to New Delhi. Sadly, the answers were nowhere to be found until she went to France. That was where she heard a story. A lonely mustard plant could not grow properly under stress. It was small, sick and sad. When the temperatures were too high or too low, or when the light was too bright or too dim, or when the soil was too sandy. But when the mustard plant had a friend nearby, another mustard plant, they both grew tall, green and happy. The mustard plants were helping each other. Alone they were weak, but together strong. They helped each other like Chini helped little birds and squirrels. They protected each other like Chini protected younger plants from harsh sunlight. But Jashi still had more questions than answers. Why do plants help each other? How do plants help each other? Jashi thought and thought and thought. She read and read and read. She spoke to people, helpful and unhelpful, but nobody had any answers. Luckily for Jashi, mustard plants were fun to work with. Growing them, growing them was not difficult, and she needed only one simple tool: a paper clip. Jashree used a paper clip to sow 4,000 tiny seeds, one at a time. She did this whole exercise many, many, many times. But she didn't get all the answers all the time. She failed and failed and failed. She failed 21 times. Jashree had more worries. Humans are not always helpful as mustard plants. She was often told wrong and unkind things. Women cannot do science. Indians cannot do science. Stop bugging me, Jashi thought, and she carried on with her work. Finally, Jashi succeeded. Oh yes, I have found it. She found that plants help each other all the time. She found that some mustard plants only help similar mustard plants. Other mustard plants help mustard plants that were not so similar. And as Jashi knew, excited answers always led to more questions. That's curious. Why would some plants do one thing and others do something else? Why can't all plants help each other the same way? She found that plants which grew with strangers learned how to help those strangers. This behavior is shaped over many, many years by another curious thing called evolution. Jashi thought, imagine if we could find out which seeds to grow together so that they could help each other. Wouldn't that be fantastic? So we could produce so many seeds in so little time with much less money. But what seeds grow? grow together? How should they be grown? Then there are other questions too. Are plants smart? How smart are they? Jashree is on a journey to find these answers. In the meanwhile, she learns every day from her helpful plants. If only humans helped each other more, the world would be such a wonderful place. What did you learn from plants today?